In this video, I'll show you how to use conditional formatting in Tracer version 3's Visual for Power BI. The first thing that you'll need to do is navigate to the Format Visual tab and select Data Style. Beneath Color Style, you can select Singular Rule, then select the function key. Here we can set up rules for how the data will display. We can use sum of area as a method by which to color the rooms. We can format empty values as zero, a specific color, or not being formatted. Here we'll set a specific color. We can set the minimum color, and we can even enter a value for what will be considered the minimum. This can help us control the bounds of how the data is being represented. We can also set a custom value for what will be considered the top end of the scale. We can add a middle color as well to help weight the scale because there are many, many rooms that are similarly sized as small and many that are similarly sized as large and not really many between. So we can enter a custom value for that as well. When we hit OK, we'll recolor the model. And if I select just one floor to focus on, we can see how rooms of various sizes are shaded differently. Another way we can use this function is to go back into this function panel and change from gradient to rules. In this way, we can set up as many rules as we'd like on how the data should be colored. For example, if the value is greater than or equal to zero and less than, let's say, 10, value in this case referring to area, then highlight the model with pink. You can see how this is now selected all of the rooms that have less than 10 square meters of area and highlighted those in pink. We could add additional rules and delete them by clicking this X below. Those are two simple ways of using conditional formatting on your visuals.